Hey beautiful, welcome to your photo reveal and purchasing session tutorial video. This video is just to give you an idea of what is to come and some tips and tricks along the way. What you see for your gallery will likely be different. Um, it'll be your photos instead of this person's photos. Um, it will be um, the correct product and pricing as well. So things may vary a little bit to what you see. Your photo reveal and purchasing session consultant will be emailing you access to your personal link and password. So I've already clicked the link, I've already put my password in, and I am going to hit OK. So the first thing we see here is this little pop-up that basically says no photos, videos, or screenshots to avoid copyright issues. Um, by hitting OK, you are acknowledging and accepting that warning. The next thing we'll see is a little slideshow as a teaser to give you an idea of how the photos turned out, as well as a reminder of some of the posing you and your photographer did. It does have this fun little song on it. If the song is too loud, if you want to jam out to it, you do have the microphone option up here um, to change that uh, volume. You can pause and go to the photo one-on-one. -on -one. Um, you can go back. Um, once it hits the last photo, it will bring you to step two, which is choose your photos. You'll get this little pop-up to give you uh, the text of what I'm telling you as well. Um, so your photos have been edited um, and you will see the edited version here. So you've got two different options. You can hit select all photos. That is if you already know you love them and you are ready to get all of them, you can hit this one and that will turn all of your photos into a yes. Um, if you're wanting to look through them and pick your photos, which we are going to do here, we're going to hit start picking. So for the purposes of this video, we have already gone through and marked all of the photos with their thumbs up or thumbs down. So unless you close out and log back into your gallery, you will not have a up or down indicated on your photo yet. Um, and then I can hit the a thumbs up on this one. It will take me to my next photo. Um, I can even have photos up on the screen at the same time for a side-by-side -side comparison of two photos. And then I can select which ones I like here. Um, you can do photos that are farther apart. Uh, say I want to see this photo and way over here, this photo on the screen at the same time for a side-by-side -side comparison to decide which one I like better. Um, I can also, even though the photos have been marked, I can change the answer on them and it will take me to the next photo um, when I do that. Um, so we're going to make this one a yes. We're going to keep going. Um, so you can make all of the changes as you feel, feel needed. You can do it one time. Uh, you can do it multiple times. You're not committing to a photo by marking it as a yes. You're also not deleting a photo by marking it as a no. Uh, you're basically just making piles with your photos at this point. Um, so, um, once you've got them marked the way you like, you're going to hit next section and that will bring you up this little pop up and telling you how many photos you have as marked as a thumbs up or a yes. If you have a specific photos you're trying to get narrowed down to, you can hit go back to continue making changes on your thumbs up or thumbs down. If you're ready to go through to the next section, you can hit OK. So like I said, you're not committing to a photo. So we do still have those 36 up here. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, product options or pricing may vary on your reveal process. Um, before we talk about the packages too much, I do want to point out that we have this little chat icon. If we click that, we can type in um, something and that will send over to your reveal consultant um, for her to be able to respond to and then provide help as needed right here in the program. 
this option is only available during your consultant's business hours. So if she's no longer at work, this option will not be available. You will need to call or email leaving us a message um, for assistance during business hours. So we're gonna close that for right now. Um, so you will be able to scroll to find the a la carte items, um, but again, for the purposes of the video, I am going to hit I am freaking worth it, which is one of our biggest packages. Um, the fun thing with packages is that this program is going to walk you through each individual item of the package. All digitals, um, whether in a package or by themselves, is going to be every photo you saw during your choose photos step two, uh, even if you've marked the photo as a no. So as you can see, all of those photos are here and they already have a check mark on them, which is super helpful. So all I'm going to do is hit next. I don't need to make any changes. So my next item is a 20 by 30 canvas gallery wrap. Um, so I can go through, I can click on photos to make them a little bit larger. I can hit my plus sign to get even closer. Um, I can hit the minus sign to go out a little bit. I can hit this one and it will take it back to, um, this regular size. Um, in this view, I can hit previous or next to change which photo I'm looking at without having to go back to the grid. I am going to select this photo here. So I'm just going to hit it with a check mark. I'm going to hit my X and then I am going to hit next. So my next item is the four by six memory box with up to a hundred four by six prints, but I only have 68 photos in my yes pile. So I am going to click on the photo. I'm going to hit edit, which is also on the grid page. And I can change my photo into black and white. Black and whites usually take a minute. Oh, there it is. I like that one. So I'm going to click it. Um, I can also scroll way. Let's go over here some um, to, let's say this photo. And I want to make 10 copies of it so that I get closer to my 100 mark. And then I'm gonna hit add copies. And then as you can see down here, I have 10 copies of that. Um, let's say I also want five, five copies of this photo. Um, same process. Once I've got all of my edits, um, oh, before I change my edits, um, I can do another edit here. So this photo, let's say I want to crop in on it a little bit. Um, so you can see that you've got little dan uh, marching ants going around the frame, and then it's got little gray handles on the corners and in the centers. So I can change where that crop is. And then I can drag and drop it a little bit um, to where I really want it to be. And I can then hit crop. Just like turning a photo to black and white, the crop does take a moment to save, but there is my new one. And now I am gonna hit save. That might take a minute, depending on how many changes you have made. And then I'm gonna hit the X. So now, if I come into my gallery here, now I have 85 photos. So I am much closer. I am happy with the 85. I've got duplicates. I've got some turned into black and white. I got to edit or uh, crop a little bit. I am just going to hit select all. If you have more than 100 photos, um, it will be an additional fee per photo after that 100. So you can just hit select all and then uncheck photos to get down to the number that you uh, have ideally want in there. And like we've done before, we're going to hit next. Oh, and it's going to tell me, hey, you only have 85 photos at 100. Um, and I am again okay with that. So we're going to hit that. Um, and then the next one is going to be a 11 by 14 album. So the album does come with 20 photos in the packages. Um, albums a la carte have a minimum of 18 photos with a max of 50 photos. So I'm just going to randomly select some photos here. 
to put into my album. So I can continue clicking on it this way. I can also hit compare. Um, just like earlier, I can pick a photo and hit compare here. Um, so you've got different options as far as compare. This section will allow you to bring multiple photos on the screen at one time so that you can have them side by side for that comparison. The more photos you have on the screen, the uh, smaller the photos will get, but I can continue adding my check mark and green frame in this section as well. Um, and I've got this little indicator here on how many photos I have selected. So I have one more I need to select, but I'm going to go back to this view and select from here. So if I, I've got oh, 14 because I forgot to hit save, that's okay. Um, so I've got 19 and 20. So now if I continue clicking photos, I'm now going to get this little red pop-up in text that says I am going to have an additional $58 per photo that will affect my price. So if you watch the price here and I add another photo, it's going to get larger. If, it's, if I unselect those two photos, it will go back down to the original cost of the um, package. So I'm going to... Um, also add some text inprinting. Whatever you type in here will be copied and pasted. So I'm gonna put for your eyes only. Um, so, but let's say I want that a little different. I can go for your ooh, eyes and then only in text. So I can change the color of my text as well. It cannot be metallics like gold or silver, but we can um, do different colors. Um, we do have a, a cover upgrades as well, so you can pick linen or leatherette, what color you would like it to be. So we're going to put white. Um, and then all of those upgrades affected my cost as well. Um, but this was the last item and I know that because I don't have a next item option here. So I'm going to hit add to cart. It is going to save all of that for me. If you had a photo session that included, um, photos with your session, you will get this little pop-up reminding you that about those and we can hit yes. And that will take us back to the product and pricing page. Um, but down at the very bottom, a special offer is where you're going to be able to select what you would like to do with those photos that came with your session and then which photos they are. So you can mix and match. Um, so you can do a five by seven and a digital, you can do an eight by 10 and a five by seven. You can do both of them as five by sevens. Um, you can add them both to the book options are, there's tons of options for that mix and match. The eight by 10 photos will be cropped by two inches. Um, so that is to the long side of the photo. Um, so if we were to select, let's say this photo and try to add it to the cart, it's going to give me the indication that I need to add my own crop. If I hit okay, it's going to take me to that. And just like earlier, um, you'll see your little uh, dancing or marching ants with your handles. But this time we've got this darked out area. So that is the two inches that would be cropped from your photo. Um, so you can drag and drop that to where you like it best. Um, you can kind of play with it a little bit before making your decision. So I like it right there. I'm going to hit crop. It's got that indicator. I'm going to hit save and it added it to the cart for me. So by doing that, I only have one of my two in the cart and that's what this pop-up is now letting me know. So I'm going to hit yes. I want to select my other one and I am going to do a five by seven print. This one will be just as you see it. So no, not extra cropping required. We are going to randomly pick a photo here and add it to the cart. Awesome. So we've got all of these things in the cart, but 
If you noticed earlier, one of the photos I pulled up had a bruise on the leg. So if you also have a bruise or um, a tag, something that you would like additionally edited, we do have that option in additional retouch. So I'm going to click there. I am going to find that photo, which I believe it was this one, and it is, see that bruise? So we're going to mark it, close out, and then over here in the comments, I'm going to say, please remove bruise, and then add that to the cart. So I've got everything in the cart the way I like it. I've got my subtotal. The credit here is going to be um, the retainer you placed to book your appointment. Um, if you've done a prepayment, anything like that, that will also be indicated here. We're going to hit next and find the shipping options. Um, all shipping is done through the post office. Um, signature confirmation means that the post office will not leave it at the mailbox or doorstep for delivery. Somebody has to be physically present to sign and receive. So I am going to put a address in here. And you will see I've had that chat box indicator the entire process, so your consultant is available. This next page is the terms and conditions for purchasing. Since everything is customized based on what you choose, the product, the sale is considered final with hit checkout. We do debit, credit, or layaway based payment plans. Since those are layaway based, the product is not sent until payment is complete. PayPal is also an option, but we'll only do the full amount. Um, your retainer, as we just talked about, is used as a credit toward the order, so long as it's within 60 days of when your photo session was. Um, once your payment is complete in full, it can take us up to 72 hours, excluding Sundays and holidays, to process the order. So that could be digitals or album previews being emailed to you, as well as um, anything packaged and ready to go to the printer. Um, so shipping will start after that processing period. And then we're going to sign, um, fill out and sign this form, acknowledging and agreeing to the terms and conditions for making payment. You might get a notification from your web browser asking if you would like to leave the site. Please hit leave rather than cancel. And then the very last page here, step six, is for payment. So um, like I mentioned earlier, we've got card or PayPal. We're going to hit card. Um, and then here you'll see the breakdown for each of our payment plans. Um, so I can select any of these. Um, the first or full payment um, uh, for your product is due at your photo reveal and purchasing uh, appointment. So you will not be able to change the due date um, for your first payment. Um, however, if you select the one month, the second payment you can be any day within the next 30 days. Um, how, and then one other thing, um, we, if we scroll down here, we've got initial payment. So this is um, an option to make a smaller or larger payment than the payment plan indicates here. So if I um, start typing in a thousand, for example, so that took the six month payment from around um, $450 down to about $300. Um, so you can do any amount there. The smallest you can do is 25. Um, and then if you do that initial payment, not only does it change that amount, but if I select the six month, I can now change that second payment to be any time in the next 30 days. So if the first of the month is actually when I get paid, I can change it to the first. Each payment following will be the same day. Um, you can make changes to your payment plans by giving us a call or email. All payment plan changes have to be made manually on our end. 
And then the last one I want to show you here is the enter second card. So you can do a split payment. Um, so we can do um, between two cards. Um, so that is the tutorial. I hope you love your photos.